Peggy 16. Seventeen years ago, this horseshoe-shaped classic was the first Battlefield map ever released. Designed to offer players multiple choices for tackling each situation, Wake Island kickstarted the unique and unpredictable sandbox that is Battlefield. Now, as part of Battlefield 5's live service, our latest free update builds upon that legacy to create the incredible air, land and sea experience we always had in mind. Welcome back to Wake Island. Battlefield 5's version of Wake Island is twice the size of that in Battlefield 1942. Increasing the size has helped us to create better pacing in matches. But don't worry about snipers or pro machine guns. We've balanced all that space with plenty of vegetation and rock formations you can use as cover to get up close and personal with your enemies. The expanded map and the flatter topography also works great for vehicles, giving you lots of room to move around. Amphibious tanks and boats that spawn on the beaches of Wake allow you to move freely around the island, discovering new and interesting ways to surprise the enemy. Wake Island is a different experience each time you play, and you'll see this most clearly when you switch game modes. Breakthrough is all about intense invasion gameplay. It's a great way to master the island in fast-paced fights. While a round of Conquest Assault is the Battlefield sandbox in its purest form. It is here that those Battlefield moments live. We loved seeing your response to the release of the first two Pacific maps, Iwo Jima and Pacific Storm, and we're using those learnings to improve the core gameplay even further with the Wake Island update. And with our Year 2 edition now available, including War in the Pacific and the best arsenal from the first year, there's never been a better time to join the millions of other players in Battlefield. Welcome back to the original Battlefield.